I'm Annie Studebaker and I bring to you an abundance of knowledge from our South Texas rural communities. Follow me as I take you on a journey of inspiration and insight that will offer a deeper connection with people and businesses. I've always been fascinated with photography, especially wildlife. Today, we'll meet Greg Storms, owner of Mockingbird Photography. He'll give us an in-depth look into the art of wildlife photography as we visit La Jara Ranch and Estero Llano Grande State Park. But first, he's going to teach me the basics. So sit back and enjoy the show. Okay, Greg, I'm so glad that you're here because I really need to learn a little bit more about this camera and using this big lens. I have a Canon in 70D and you have a Nikon and you have, we have pretty much the same lens. So I really need this. Okay. So let's, let's get started. All I'm gonna right. take notes, a few notes. All right. The thing is you need to understand some of the basics and light is, absolutely necessary photography so you need to understand how you, you get light in and the right amount. It's similar to let's say that you want wanted a bucket full of water okay and let the water represent the light and the bucket represent the amount that you need. You need a full bucket of water. Well you could use a small tube to allow the water to come in. It's going to take a long time to fill up the bucket. Or you can use a large hose and it'll fill up the bucket quickly, time-wise. Same thing is true with a camera. When you have a small aperture, which is the opening that is allowing the light in, if it is small, then it's going to take longer for enough light to come in to give you a properly exposed picture. Oh, I see. If it is wide open, then you can have a faster shutter speed, which means you're just taking in the light much more quickly. Okay, so the smaller it is, the less light that comes in and the longer, it takes shut longer, longer for shutter, speed. shutter speed. I understand that now, okay. Okay. Now, the difference between a small aperture opening and a large aperture opening is now going to be your depth of field. Yes. Okay. And depth of field means mm -hmm. how much of the picture is in focus from front to back. Oh, okay. Okay. If you use a large opening and take the light in quickly, then you're going to have a very narrow depth of field. It's going to basically, sometimes, even, let's say you're photographing a bird, it may be that the front of the bird is in focus, but by the time you get to the tail feathers, it's, it's a little bit blurred or the bokeh. And that it's, happens. Yes. And again, that's because of the uh, aperture opening. Oh, now, I, I've heard some pro photographers say that uh, 8 is great. In other words, setting your camera at f8 is hmm. going to give you a uh, good depth of field. However, if your subject is close, then you're going to still have may possibly more depth of field than you really want. Okay, I had a lot of problems yesterday. I got this lens and just got it in the mail not too long ago. And we went to shoot these baby birds in the nest. Well, there was so much little twigs and branches there in the way. Well, I never got a real good shot. It would, uh, and I'm gonna go try it again today after this, so. There are going to be times that you, there's no way around it unless you change and you say, okay, I got to get down and shoot this way and that way I'm going to shoot kind of under those branches and my, my view is going to not include all those branches. But you, you've got to do all that composition before you ever press the shutter. Wow. And, and look, move your camera, rotate it on your tripod. Okay. As you look through your viewfinder, look for the most clear opening. Okay. Now, it's nice to have the branches framing because that, that's a, a good composition where, yes, where you can yes, frame. I understand that. But if they're somewhat out of focus, that helps too because now your eye's not drawn to this branch or that one on the left or the right of the bird. I see why now. So far, I can understand why, what mistake I've made. Let, okay. Let's keep going. Let me see. What else? The nice thing about a long lens is that also, if you changes it compresses your uh, depth of field so it, it, it makes things look closer 
Wow, yes. Uh, it, it changes. So it, you can get away with a little bit higher when something's close. Okay. Tell me a little bit about exposure. Okay. We've set your camera on aperture priority, which means that you can change your aperture. You should be able to see that your speed, as the f-stop goes up and your opening is getting smaller, your length of time is going to get longer and longer. So it will take it takes longer to take the picture. Yes. Okay. Now F22 is great for landscapes. Now you want a great deal of your shot in focus. It's not like you're photographing that bird on the nest I where all you want now. is the bird. I understand. A person that I assist and I learn a great deal from, and her name is Ruth Hoyt, I think yes. a mutual acquaintance. Yes. And Ruth is always saying, watch the edges. Yes. Watch the edges and make sure you don't have something coming in because that'll, you'll wonder, why is my photograph not as interesting as this other person who took it? Well, look at the edges or look at where is the placement of your subject. Don't place something generally. You can always break rules in photography, but only when it really emphasizes a point. Generally, you don't want to center your subject in the frame. Right, the rule of thirds. Rule of thirds, exactly. No targets. Exactly. <laughs> that that I, I learned from okay. Ruth Hoyt. She right. did tell me that. Right, and, and that's a, a big benefit. And, and I know uh, many kids, when they start out, that's what they do, you know, whether it's with an iPhone or a, yes. or a point and shoot, they're going to center it because it's the easiest, you know, that's, mm -hmm. you get it in the middle. But eventually you become a little more creative and, and add some interest to your uh, photographs. Wow, now I can't wait to get out there and use this lens and use it correctly. I, I can see where I made the mistakes here, more than one. We're gonna go get ready and go outdoors and finish up this uh, mini lesson, but you're going to see major improvement okay, after good. this. Good. And remember so to tuck much. your pants in this time. Oh, yes. <laughs> when we return, we'll visit La Jara Ranch and capture some amazing birds in their natural habitat. BTX1 now offers affordable advertising rates on top-rated networks on the most popular shows. Now you can grow your business by choosing to advertise on the programs your customers watch. Take advantage of VTX1's TV coverage area and reach your customers with your own TV commercial. VTX1, we are your local provider. Call 1-800-446-2031 to get started today. You already know VTX1 offers the best in television entertainment, but did you know that we offer the best box office hits? Upgrade to Showtime and experience the latest and greatest Hollywood movies and series you can't find anywhere else, like Penny Dreadful and Homeland, World Championship Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts. Get 10 great channels and 4 high definition channels, all for only $17 a month. Showtime on BTX1. We are your local provider. Call 1-800-446-2031 to upgrade today. Welcome back. Just east of Raymondville, Texas is La Jara Ranch, home to a wide variety of wildlife. Before we started taking pictures, I spoke to Greg about the history of the area. Tell me the name of this ranch. Okay, it's La Jara, La Jara Ranch. And it's going to be developed, this portion is going to be developed into a nature uh, dedicated to nature, whether it's butterflies or insects or plants or birds or any other critters that are out here. So it's a little bit of everything. And where does La Jara come from? Is it J-A-R-R-A? -R -R yes. And what does that mean? And that means water pitcher. Oh, okay. And it had what to I do have? with uh, Mr. Raymond's coming here and, and getting the ranch and if he could get water and so forth and he's, he's something to, with a reference to the pitcher, you know, a pitcher of water from the springs up near San Antonio. So that's where that came from and that's how he got that. 
Uh, what are we going to be looking at today here? Well, we, we've got a number of things. We can show you things that are in the process of being developed. We can show you some of the areas that where there are going to be blinds, and I have a pop-up blind in one of those areas. This property, which is 500 acres, is also going to include a senior center for the people that have Alzheimer's and and uh, like dementia. Like a relaxation place or something. Yeah, or yeah, like a treatment treatment center type there thing. There we go. Okay. And then there also will be places for those people that let's say you're 55 and you just want a place to retire. You don't want to retire in a condo in the middle of a city. So, but you would like to live out in the country, but you would like to have a facility to do that and where there's some other things. Who owns this property? This is uh, owned by the Wettergroves. Uh, Joe Wettergrove is, is the one that I actually work for and, hit, and he's the one that hired me. It, you know, it was interesting. Four years ago, we were on a tour uh, from uh, Wild and Willisey. Okay. And we were traveling around, and he said he owned a ranch somewhere. And I said, really? And I said, where do you own it? And he says, well, do you know that pond out across from the cemetery? He said, that's the front of the ranch. I said, really? And my interest was, I, was, I just asked him if I could have permission to walk beyond the, the uh, little platform, because technically I knew that was where you were supposed to go and not beyond. And he said, I've watched you work. Yes, I'll give you permission. Well, later that afternoon, he called me and asked me to come out here. And before the end of the day, I walked off with the combination to the, so I could get in any time I wanted to. Yeah. Well, I'm all excited about this. Okay, let's, great. Let's go. Let's go. I can't wait to start taking pictures. Greg has been an amazing photography instructor as well as a great guide. I've gone into blinds on other ranches. I got it. Let me go. Where there were um, big, uh, huge black widows hanging from the ceiling. Well, please don't tell me. I'm really afraid of spiders. We position ourselves in the blind so the birds wouldn't see or hear us. The last step was selecting the right lenses. Got something coming out here. It sounds like blackbirds coming. And they're pretty bold because they've gotten used to me. Yeah. Really? I'm going to lower this just a tad. It's got a red head. Yeah, that's, that's the male. The female's wow. all yellow. And the gold, the, when it says gold in front, uh -huh. it has nothing to do with the color of the head. Right at the tip of its beak, uh -huh. where it goes into the head, there's a, it's yellow, like a yellow wow. spot between its eyes. Yeah. On the bill. Oh, interesting. And that's how it gets it. When it flies at you, that's the yellow front, the golden front end. The red one. That's awesome. Wow, two, two of them. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. They're upset with each other. They don't want each other there. There's a dove. Was it kind of a whitish color? It had no tan and then white. On the wings? Yes. It's a white wing. White winged dove. Which always brought lots of people to the valley for hunting. That's it, yeah. But usually there'll be, I'm surprised the rabbit hasn't come back out. There it is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Keeping track of each other. I think that's what I saw their head out there in the grass. Greg's photos looked amazing. You can really see the passion he puts into photography. Yeah, that's the white wing. Her bill thrasher. In 
they have really golden eyes. Yeah, they do. Working here has been such a blessing to me. Mm -hmm. um, it, it just uh, has made retirement that much better. This is fun. I love this. Actually, I was looking for one of these blinds. Wildlife. It's not just birds. No. You do all kinds of photography. Yeah. That is awesome. I have taken pictures of uh, snakes uh, breeding and fighting, wow. and the males fighting over a female. They they were. Uh, How close were you? You were in the blind. Oh no! This was up at the house on one of the front steps. Oh my god! Or just next to a tree. Ooh, kill that spider. You got it? Yeah. Good, that was huge. If there's one thing that's essential to being a great wildlife photographer, it's patience. Yeah, that's perfect. That's like studio lighting when the sun comes out like God, that. Yeah. So look at that moving. That's nice. Wow, the bird seed really did the trick. I really was learning a lot from Greg. Stay tuned for some more outdoor fun. Tired of the same old food? Are your taste buds bored to death? Why not try something delicious for a change? your family to CNM Boutique and Market. CNM has something new every day from pasta, spinach wraps, and mango tea to breakfast croissants and fruit cups, roasted turkey, tuna salad, and tasty frozen treats. There's a whole new world of flavor. Visit our Facebook page to see today's menu. Pick up a bite to eat before the big game and remember, we deliver. Add a little color to your life at CNM Boutique and Market. Open weekdays 6.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays 10 to 5. It's the same every month. Bills pile up more and more. It's like an oncoming storm. And when it rains, it pours. But there's hope. Sun Loan is here to help you with the money you need when you need it. Sun Loan offers reasonable rates and friendly service. And a tax service that can't be beat. Let them help you repair your credit, refer a friend, and get $25. Best in the glory of a new day, Sun Loan. Call 956-232-2057. You already know, VTX1 offers the best in television entertainment. But did you know that we offer premium programming from HBO? Upgrade to HBO and experience hit original series like Game of Thrones and True Blood, World Championship Boxing, and the biggest and best Hollywood movies. Get seven great HBO channels and two more channels for our HD subscribers. All this for only $19 a month. HBO on VTX Weather. We are your local provider. Call 1-800-446-2031 to upgrade today. Welcome back. Just from riding with Greg, I can see that he knows all the great bird watching sites. As we were getting ready to snap a photo, we found ourselves looking at a nighthawk's nest on the ground. You really never know where your next photo is going to come from. It's important not to make too much noise. You just have to concentrate on taking an amazing picture. We even spotted a killdeer scurrying across the brush. Sometimes with smaller creatures like insects, it really helps to get down to their level.
We also spotted a great kiskadi in its natural habitat. What is that? There's one of its eggs. Oh, wow. That's when they me... killed your eggs. Greg told me that these locations would be perfect for bird blinds in the future. And towards the end, I was starting to feel like a professional photographer. Next, we stopped by Estero Llano Grande State Park. There were many blackneck stilts in a nearby wetland marsh. Greg showed me how to adjust the camera for the best possible shot. I'd like to thank Greg Storms for taking the time to show me what professional photography entails. If you're interested in photography lessons, call Mockingbird Photography at 956-454-0481. Special thanks to La Jara Ranch and Estero Llano Grande State Park. I'll leave you with some of Greg's phenomenal photography. Until next time!